seven, come on, six, five, let's go, four, come on. You guys, trust me when I say that this full body workout is the workout you didn't know you needed. As in, this is what we call an a la carte menu. And I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. So tell me, are you hungry? What do you want to eat? Legs? I got it. Back? I got it. Biceps? I got it. Everything is on the menu. And guys, we are about to eat and leave no crumbs. Look, I'm not even going to waste your time with this intro because we have a lot of work to do. So let's head on over to the gym and crush this workout. Wait, just before we leave, I want to welcome those of you who are new here. My name is Tumi and I'm all about helping women become fit, strong and healthy. So please do me a small favor, hit that like button and subscribe because I know you're going to love it here. So we're going to start this routine with a full body dynamic warm up. And the first exercise I'm going to be doing is a walkout into a downward dog. So let's dive right in. Okay guys, it's time for the main workout and guess what's first on the menu? If you guessed legs, you guessed correctly. We're going to be supersetting a barbell box squat with some box jumps. So that just means we're going to be doing the exercises back to back with no rest in between. And we'll rest after we've completed both exercises. We're going to try and aim for three sets, anywhere between eight to 12 reps for the box squats and maybe 10 to 12 reps for the box jumps. You guys, you know what I really like about the box squats? It's super easy on your knees. So if you have bad knees, you need to be trying this variation of the squats. I'm gonna show you how to perform this exercise. We're going to grab onto the bar as per usual, okay? And then we're going to step back. For your feet placement, you're going to want to have a wide stance, okay? And once you have the barbell positioned on your upper back, we're going to squat slowly and sit on the box. Now, when you get to this position, I find that a lot of people tend to. Did you see what happened? Imagine if I had a much heavier load on the bar, I would, in fact, would need to call an ambulance. So you always want to make sure you keep your spine vertical, okay? try and keep that tension in your glutes and in your back this way you're going to be protecting your spine make sure you don't sit here we're not here to relax okay and once you do that we're going to explode up all right and then repeat the motion for the amount of reps that we need to be doing now over to the box jumps this is a really explosive movement it's going to get your heart rate up so i need you to be prepared to perform this exercise we're going to stand maybe about 10 inches away from the box you're going to bend your knees softly you want to extend your hands behind you and we're going to explode up with our hips when you explode up i want you to swing your arms up all right so watch what i'm going to do now did you see how much power I used to explode? That's what I want you to be doing. And when you land on the box, I want you to keep all the tension in your hamstrings. I don't want you landing into a squat. This is a very common mistake I see people doing. Make sure you keep all that tension here and then extend. And when you come back off, we're going to step off the box. We are not going to jump off the box did you see how <laughs> forceful that was that's just going to be damaging to your knees so you step on okay and then we step off the box so let's get to work our first set is going to be a warm-up round i like to start really light as you can see i'm using just 25 pounds on both sides this is just to get our muscles you know activated okay so 
step back and then squat explode up explode kind of lost track of how many reps I'm doing but again this is just a warm-up so it's okay remember we're super setting with the box box jumps <laughs> I keep mixing them more box squats box jumps whatever you guys get the point okay so let's do about 10 10 of these one step back two five five more to go six it's all about the power guys seven come on three more all right now we take about a 60 second break and then we're going to get right into our working sets and you're going to see what's going to happen next what i really love most about box squats is that because it takes the pressure off your knees you can lift really heavy much heavier than i would be lifting if i were using you know the regular if i weren't using the box basically and you guys got <laughs> lots of breath see i said it was a warm-up and i'm already out of breath so i don't even know what to expect this is number one set anyways back to what i was saying so yeah you can lift a lot of weight i think that's what i was trying to say when i get into this mode my brain stops working so please pardon me if i'm speaking gibberish i think i'll just pause and take the break that i need i'll do i won't talk anymore guys i'll be back it's time for the final round guys and as you can see we are finishing really strong we have on here 225 pounds and because this is kind of heavy i'm going to keep my reps on the lower side so i'm trying to reach for eight i hope i'm not reaching too much but if i can't do eight i'll probably stop at six so here goes nothing guys here goes nothing one it was just that heavy and my legs were giving out and then we have our box jumps chai god help me You guys saw that. Is that five or six? Seven. That's what I'm talking about. And that's all on the menu for legs. But there's still more. Remember, I said we were hungry and we're still eating, guys. We are still eating. So let's move on to our next exercise. Guys, the second item on the menu is back. And this is my second favorite muscle group to train after legs hands down so for this we're going to be super setting a lap pull down with some push-ups so let's get to work so to perform the lap pull down we're going to start by adjusting these knee pads we want to make sure it's snug against our thighs as you can see right now there's a lot of space here so what i'm going to do is adjust the hooks okay bring it slightly lower i'm going to extend my toes and you can see now that there's no option for me to jerk up when I'm pulling down the bar. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is select our weight. It's already set to 20 pounds, and I think this is a good starting point. Now, once you're in this position, maintain that position all through the movement, and we're going to pull the bar to our chest, mid-chest, and then slowly bring it back up. And then we're going to pull and bring it back up, just like that. And now, we're going to move on to our push-ups. So I know a lot of us ladies might not be able to do full push-ups, okay? For this exercise, I'm going to be doing the traditional push-up. All right, but if you are not strong enough to do a full push-up, you can always do a modified version. So you're going to keep your knees on the floor. All right, so it's going to look something like this. So your knees are on the floor, your hands are down, okay, palms, planted in the floor and you're going to all right this is a much easier way to do a push-up trust me when i started my fitness journey i struggled I, I couldn't even understand how people were able to do 
push-ups but the more you do them the more you're going to get stronger but anyways that's enough talking we're aiming for three sets eight to twelve reps and then for push-ups i'm just going to do to failure on every set so yeah let's let's get to work And then we're going to superset that with our push-ups, push-ups till failure. Let's see how many I can do. I want you guys to count. I'll be counting to three, two, one, let's go. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, come on, two, one, two, that last one took me out, that last one took me out. The next muscle group we're training is our shoulders. I don't know about you, but I love a good looking pair of defined and toned shoulders. So to achieve this, we're going to be doing a barbell push press, so an overhead press, and we'll superset that with some dumbbell rear lateral raises. So to perform the overhead barbell push press, you're going to put the bar in your arms. You're going to put your arms at a 90 degree angle. Okay, you want to keep your fist tight so that you're supporting your wrist, okay? And you can see in my wrist that there's a slight bend, right? You don't want to have your wrist straight like this, otherwise it's going to be a lot harder and yeah, it just makes the workout a lot more harder to do. So make sure your wrists are slightly bent, okay? Place the bar against your collarbone and we're going to push up, okay? You can bend slightly just for a little bit of momentum and then extend your arms up. And you see that when I extended my arms up, I had to push my head forward so that I don't hit myself with the bar, okay? So again, we're going to be working with three sets and anywhere between eight to 10 reps. Let's move on to the dumbbell rear lateral raises. Guys, for the lateral raises, this is a really humbling exercise. Just respect yourself and pick up a light weight. I'm going to be starting with five pounds because our shoulders are really small muscles. Our rear, rear delts especially, they're really small muscles. They can't handle too much weight. So let's get to work. So to perform this exercise, you're going to have a slight bend in your knees. Actually, you're going to be bent over and you're going to raise your arms up like this, okay? Like in a flying motion, my elbows are slightly bent as well. And stop before your shoulder blades squeeze, okay? Now, I don't want you doing this. I see a lot of people using so much momentum. You can do that, but the reality is that you're working a different muscle group. You're probably going to be engaging your traps, your rhomboids, but if you want that, no problem. But we are trying to target our rear delts, okay? So this is where your rear, rear delts are located, okay? So again, watch me. We're going to swing those arms up and pause, all right? We're super setting with our rear delt raises, okay? Believe it or not, you don't need more than this for this muscle. It looks really small, but I'm going to make sure I get in enough reps. So let's go. If it's too light, I'll switch to the five pounds. Nah, it's too light. It's too light. So, guys, that was a lesson. I wanted to teach you a lesson. If you find that you're just swinging, and when it comes to any exercise, not just for this exercise, if your weights are too light, I need you guys to have the courage or I need you guys to have the awareness to say, no, to me, you can do better. Patricia, you can do better. So pick up more weights and go for it. So let's go back to the five pounds. Let's go. You can see that this movement is slow and controlled. I'm not using too much momentum. Eight nine ten come on let's do two more 
you know when you get tired you can actually just do partial reps okay it may look like cheating but you're still working those delts all right so let's go partial reps look something like this okay my hand is not coming all the way up but you can see that those shoulder muscles are still working right okay all right i've done enough that's it guys all right guys we are finally at our last item on the menu and as always we save the best for the last so we're going to be doing seated bicep curls but we're going to be adding something spicy to this this is a really spicy one get ready for your biceps to explode and i mean that in literal terms we're going to be performing this as a drop set so as you can see i've lined up my weights i have 12.5 pounds 10 pounds 7.5 five pounds so you can see that i've arranged them in descending order we're going to start with the heaviest weight we're going to do about 12 reps as soon as we finish that we're going to move on to the next weight the 10 pounds we'll do about eight reps and then we move on to the 7.5 pounds we'll do maybe about six reps and then we would finish with the baby weight the five pound and for that we're just going to do it till failure trust me this is not a joke the burn is insane so yeah without further ado let's dive right in feels really easy right now <laughs> six seven eight nine ten eleven make sure you squeeze those biceps at the top switch over to ten ten reps nine come on eight seven four six five ooh, four three two and one two more two and one ah starting to feel it 7.5 pounds let's try in for 10 let's go 10 9 8 come on 7 come on 6 5 let's go 4 come on 3 2 1 all right down to the last let's go 2 3 4 come on Five, this five pounds feels nothing like five pounds. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. This thing gives you the craziest pump ever. All right, guys. I know I said the bicep curls were our last exercise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lied. Well, kind of lied, but kind of didn't lie. We're going to be finishing with some battle ropes. This is just our finisher. Like it's think about it as the dessert. You know, we've been eating and eating good. So this is just our dessert, just the icing on the cake. Okay. We're going to do battle ropes instead of three for maybe 60 seconds or as long as I can hold it for. So yeah, let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock and let's start. This is what I call bye bye arms. Bye bye arms. done they're like spaghetti finished finished you guys all right guys we are officially done with this full body workout i i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did please be sure to give me a like you know thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and if you try this workout make sure you leave me a comment let me know how you found it and i'll see you next time uh, yeah, I mean